Hey everybody out there in YouTube land. I'm here once again at Magic Kingdom. And today I am going to go on something I always avoid. Maybe because, not that I'm lazy, but it always looks like work. But it is really cool. I'm going to go on the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. I'm going to walk up there and give you a little POV of that and then see what rides I can get on. It is really busy today, so we'll see what we can do. Maybe get a snack, I don't know. It all depends on time and money. But yeah, let's go do it. Well, at least when I know that they got protection for the uh, Swiss Family Robinson house. Got big old cannons out here. So I guess uh, what we learned from this is do not mess with the Swiss family. Oh, cannon you. I wish this was the wait time for all the rides. That would be awesome. Here I go. Woo! And I'll try not to shake the camera too much. I want you guys to feel like you're really here with me, you know? Smelling the smells and wonder if we're actually going to see the Swiss family today. That'd be kind of neat. Oh, and they don't have the water. Normally this is, uh, this is going. That like brings the water up to them. But, not working right now. And it is quite amazing, like, how they, this is a fake tree, no, obviously a fake tree, but the attention to detail with Disney just never ceases to amaze me. I mean, this tree, it looks real. Absolutely real, and obviously that's what they're going for. So, if you're afraid of heights, I probably suggest not coming up here, because it does get pretty high. As you can tell, we're already, uh, that's where we entered down there, we're, we're pretty high. Just in case you want to come in, have some dinner, play a little organ. I know I won't be doing that because I never have claimed to be a musician, but I don't even think I can play the chopsticks, which most people can. And I think they have this up here for people that get really tired to take a nap. Or maybe people tried to do it before and that's why they put this cage here, I don't know. So after that, we start descending. Start descending down. It looks like they have these netting for things that are maybe people dropping stuff or... Oh, and you never know when you're gonna need one of these. I hope they don't need that. At least not while I'm up here. And just in case you didn't want the bed, they got hammocks up here. This is another Maybe you can rent them out for a little bit. Can't get in. <laughs> and like I said, the best part about this is the walk down. Just because you're walking down and not up. And right here is their library with their extensive library of what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. So I got my stuff. Well, it's better than one book, I guess. Oh, no. Eight books, because they got the ship's log. Gotta have that. And save the best for last. Down below, 
they have their kitchen, which is pretty cool. Fireplace is awesome. Gotta have fruit. So yeah, I, I really do enjoy the the tree house. Very cool. Um, it's got that sun's in the back. But definitely, it's a walk. You know, you gotta walk all the way up, all the way down. But it's worth it. If you've never done it, I highly suggest it. It's, it's just cool. You get a really cool, like a lot of cool views, good picture spots. So I'd do it again, but probably not for another couple months. Let my legs uh, not be so sore. Let's keep going. Sounds like we got ourselves a party we got to go get involved in. Might have to do a little dancing. What do you guys say? Let's go do it. And I'm just walking over here towards Tomorrowland to go get myself a cup of joe. And I look down and I have never noticed this. I don't know the... I don't know if this is always here or this is something new. That's kind of cool. It's like the one that they have down in Disney Springs. So, But if you have never been down to Disney Springs, they have one that looks like similar to this but made out of Legos. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Ah, Tomorrowland, where they have cheap coffee. Yeah, if you didn't know, over here in Tomorrowland, where I typically get my coffee so I don't have to wait in the line over at Starbucks, because on a day like today, it's insanely busy. I come uh, behind here and go to the Joffrey's. And it's a little cheaper and usually uh, less lines, so. Let's go get our coffee on. That'll be my treat for today. So I'm over here at Joffrey's that's over near the stage behind the people mover. Um, and it's Saturday, so the line's a little bit busy. But over at Starbucks, it was ridiculously busy. So I think this is a more manageable line to get my coffee. So as I was waiting in line, I was thinking about getting just a regular coffee, but I looked up and they have a white chocolate gingerbread latte. I'm gonna see if I can get that 
on ice because I want an ice one. But yeah, I'm excited. I love gingerbread, so let's see how that is. All right, everybody, so I'm going to try this latte out. It's really good. I will say that. What I won't say is that it tastes like gingerbread. I don't get any gingerbread in that. Which, kind of a bummer, but it tastes good, so I, I can't knock that. It, really, it does taste good. It just doesn't taste like gingerbread, so. I guess uh, out of a scale from one to 10, I'll give them a nine, because it is delicious. But I won't give them a 10, because it doesn't taste like gingerbread. Can't win them all, man. Alright guys, so that will be it for me on this vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, um, like I did, even though my legs are sore from walking. Um, yeah, but let me know if you guys uh, like the vlogs, you know, subscribe, give a thumbs up, or leave something in the comment that tells me, you know, what you like or even what you don't like. Um, just trying to put out some stuff uh, for you guys to enjoy. Make you feel like you're here at Disney with me. So, but on that, remember, only one way to live. This is a moment. We'll see you next time.